Welcome to the Open Job Pink Couch. And uh, we've never really had the opportunity to explore St. Vincent and Grenadine, so I'm very happy to have you here. I understand your numbers are moving in the right direction, which is up uh, in terms of arrivals from Canada. Why is that? Um, I think partly because we uh, opened our first international airport two years ago. Um, so now we have direct flights with Air Canada Rugen to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, um, two during the winter season and um, one for the rest of the year. Initially, really what we would like to get it to would probably be three flights during the winter season right. and two during the rest of the year. So access, which was always an issue for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, has been addressed. addressed. Which is fantastic because without lift, you're nowhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you <laughs> know, um, Air Canada leaves approximately 8.15 in the morning. Good and flight. Ar yeah, and arrives at approximately 1.30, so about five hours and 10 minutes flying time. So we usually say, you know, have breakfast in Toronto and lunch in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Do the, does the trade, do travel advisors sell the product? Who is selling it? Yeah. And who's um, filling the plane? Well, I think it's a mixture between the diaspora of Vincentians who live in Canada and the leisure traveler, Air Canada Vacations. We work with them very closely and, and they, they sell it quite well. And um, the leisure traveler, I think also um, Toronto is kind of used for, as a hub for people to go to other places, mm -hmm. whether it's to Europe or obviously over to Vancouver and those sort of places. So. But the, what I want to understand is the penetration with the trade, because it's a, it's a different kind of destination, right, it than is. what they're used to selling. It is. It is. And how is the awareness out in the marketplace? Well, I think because we've addressed the, the, the issue of access, you, mm -hmm. you're seeing our presence a lot more in Canada now, um, doing a lot of things. We do a lot of the shows, um, advertising. We just brought on Vox, Vox International right. as, our, as our PR company, and they've been doing a, a, a tremendous job for us. Um, we have Shelley, who's head of our sales in the Canadian, the Canadian market, who's really been doing a great job in terms of going out there and making sure that the trade do know about us, um, training to make sure people understand what the product is that mm -hmm. is Samians and the Grenadines. Mm -hmm. I understand that uh, one of your objectives um, <clears throat> of the islands is to make sure that you are not uh, one of the victims of over-tourism, which really can take a beautiful product and and change it quite a bit from from you know an ecological yeah. perspective to just the experience of having that beautiful beach uh not to yourself obviously but not having it be overcrowded how do you balance the objective of wanting to have uh better numbers and mm -hmm. increase in um, arrivals and not ruining the beautiful pristine um, product. Right. Well, I mean, same as the Grandines, we're late on the on the tourism on the tourism market compared to our competition mm -hmm. in the Caribbean, and it comes with its positives and negatives. Um, in marketing, as you know, it's always best to be first on the scene with your product, whether it's great or not. So they've been first, but we look at it that we learn from their mistakes. Make sure we don't make the same mistakes. <laughs> also, uh, presently we're approximately twenty two hundred rooms. Okay. Um, yeah, 2,200 rooms. If we can get it to between 3,500 and 4,000 rooms and stop there, I think that would suit St. Vincent and the Grenadines perfectly. I don't want Canadians to come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and when they look around, they're seeing so many visitors, they feel as if they haven't left Canada. Yeah. Right? It's about the experience. Yes. Technology has obviously changed the way we look at things and the way we do things. Um, the experience of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is all about bragging rights to your family. I have been here and you have not. So our ideal situation is that um, Air Canada Rouge will have a, a lineup for people wanting to go to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You have to be put on a waiting list. That would be optimum. <laughs> no question. Now, um, before I let you go, Glenn, I have to ask you a really stupid question, okay. which probably other people <clears throat> ask. Grenadines and grenadine. Grenadines and grenadines. The red syrup. That's Nothing to do with each other. Yeah, yeah. No, so that's a different question. A lot of people ask. Uh, well, that's what I was wondering. But I'll, I'll put it this way: um, the grenadines are just as sweet as grenadine. Oh, well said. Very well said. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and telling Thank us. Thank you for about having it. us. I appreciate it.